This is the explosive and improvised explosive device identification range at Gatwick Airport, and we are here for final validation of the EDS designed and developed AVSACs. The AVSACs were specifically designed and developed as a result of a request from the airline industry for a product to mitigate the threat of lithium ion devices going into thermal runaway on the flight deck and in the cabin. The evaluation team first fired a standard civilian detonator containing around 0.8 of a gram of explosive as a benchmark. The test was then repeated with another civilian detonator placed in a hydrated AVSAX as a further benchmark. For reference, the AVSAX was hydrated with 20 litres of liquid. This AVSAX is being rapidly hydrated with 5 litres of water. Particular note must be taken at the speed the liquid is absorbed by the AVSAX. Note how the AVSAX has almost absorbed all of the liquid in a few seconds, and total absorption time for the 10 litres was under one minute. The hydrated AVSAX was then carried to the range, and another standard civilian detonator placed inside. You will note that there is very little impact on the AVSAX when the detonator is fired. Once the shot was fired, the AVSAX was then opened to see what damage the detonator had caused to the AVSAX. The validation team noted very little damage had been caused, and only the inner liner and the first layer of pads had been damaged. All fragmentation had been contained, and the AVSAX outer cases had not been breached. The validation team then ran a high heat simulation on an AVSAX which had been used in a previous explosive simulation. The purpose of this test was to simulate continued high heat in the unlikely event a device should explode. Approximately half a metre of burning fuse was placed in the centre of an AVSAX and then ignited. Once the fuse had gone out, the validation team returned to the AVSAX for a visual inspection. Particular note should be taken in respect to the minimal damage caused to the inner surfaces of the AVSAX by the burning fuse. With the AVSAX fully opened, the initial detonator damage can also be seen at the bottom of the AVSAX. The validation team noted both damage from the detonator and the burning fuse had been totally contained. 